Akshaya Kennedy, our consultant physician at Manipal Hospitals by Bill Pendulo. We are in the peak of monsoons and seeing a lot of dengue cases. So today, let's talk on dengue fever. It's an infection which is caused by the virus called dengue virus, which is transmitted from the bite of a mosquito carrying the dengue virus. Symptoms can happen anytime between 4 to 7 days after the bite from a mosquito carrying the dengue virus. Uh, and the symptoms can be different for different people. It can vary from mild to severe symptoms. Most common what we see is a fever, headache, retrovital pain, pain behind the eyes. They can have severe body ache, back pain. Some people can have sore throat, cough, cold. And few people can present with pain, abdomen, vomiting, loose motions. Uh, there are few people who can present the severe symptoms of dengue, like they can have a severe headache, altered sensorium, sudden loss of consciousness. There could be seizures, fits, what we call in layman term. Some people can have severe abdominal pain, they can present with acute abdomen. When uh, in few weeks, see bleeding manifestations from different sites, like bleeding from the gums, they can have uh, bleeding at different sites from the nose, they can have bleeding from the uh, you know, uh, uh, in the stools they can pass black stools. Women can have uh, uh, PD bleeding in between the cycles. But the severe symptoms we see in only 0.5 to less than 5% of the patients. Here we need to understand the dengue, the natural history of the dengue illness. Uh, they, uh, it usually has three phases. One is the acute febrile phase, which is followed by a critical phase and then convulsive phase. In acute febrile phase, it can last anywhere between 2 to 7 days and as the fever subdues, the critical phase sets in which can last about 48 to 72 hours. This is where we see you know, the complications that happen in dengue, like it could be fall in platelets, the BP can go down, systemic involvement can happen during this phase. And this is followed by a convulsant recovery phase where the patients can continue to have symptoms, you know, lingering uh, symptoms like body ache, fatigue, or going for a few days to a few weeks. The diagnosis of dengue uh, depends on the like, you know, like physician discretion and the time the test is taken. The sensitivity and specificity of a test depends on the timing and the day of illness. For example, the dengue PCR test usually detects dengue as early as first to three days of illness. Uh, between three to third to six a day, dengue LS1 ELISA is done to detect the dengue. And beyond six days to up to maximum second weeks, we can do dengue IGM ELISA. So the test to diagnose dengue depends on the day of illness that the test is taken and the physician's discretion. Uh, the, there is no specific antiviral against the dengue virus. All the treatment is mainly symptomatic and supportive. Uh, like most of the people who have mild symptoms, we treat it with a simple paracetamol, adequate hydration, good rest, and supportive treatment. And people who are hospitalized, even we give IV fluids, IV paracetamol, and symptomatic supportive care. As per the guidelines, the platelets are transfused when the platelets count more less than 10,000 or if the patient has a major bleeding issues. No, the dengue is not transmitted. There is no human to human direct transmission. Yes, but it can happen if a mosquito which bites an infected human being and the virus replicates in the uh, mosquito, it takes around 8 to 10 days for the virus to replicate in the mosquito, and then this is called external uh, incubation period. And this mosquito carrying the dengue virus, if it bites a healthy human being, then the person can get infected with dengue. So there is a no direct human to human transmission by touching or holding hands, but yes, it can be transmitted through the mosquito bites. Yes, we can prevent dengue by of course preventing from getting bitten by the mosquito carrying the dengue virus. And we have to take all the measures, keep ourselves fully, fully covered with the clothing, wearing the full shirts and you know, full pants. 
and uh, taking care of trying to clear all the water clogged areas around us because these water clogged areas are the fertile ground for breeding of mosquitoes. And also we should uh, make sure that we use the mosquito repellents, nets, screens and avoid getting bitten by the mosquito, hence they can be prevented. However, if you get infected, don't worry. You can contact your physician, we are always there to help you, guide you. And always remember that all dengue patients who are infected may not require admission and all uh, patients don't require patient transmission. Thank you.